Welcome to our lecture online. The first integral in this series is going to be the integral of a constant. That's, of course, the easiest integral you can imagine. The integral of a constant, k times dx, is equal to k times x plus the constant of integration. How do we know that? Well, we can work backwards. We can take the derivative with respect to x of that result, kx plus c, and we get back the original, the constant we started from. So this is, the, this is really the antiderivative of k dx. We have, this is the same as the integral, kx plus c. Take the derivative, we get back what we started with. That's always a good way to show that the integral was correct. But let's get a different view on what that really means. Let's say we have a function, f of x equals k, or we could simply write y equals k, which is a straight line, a horizontal line, in the, on the y-x plane that is at y equals k and runs parallel to the x-axis. Now imagine a region that's underneath that function right here, underneath that line, out from x equals 0 to x equals x. What is this area equal to? Well, it turns out that the area here, equal, that's bounded by this rectangle here, is equal to the integral of that constant k times dx. How does that work? Well, let's take a small little strip right here that has the height from there to the function. The function is y, so the height is y. And the width of that little strip is equal to dx. dx represents a really small change in x. If we multiply these two together, we get the area of that little strip. We'll call that a small little dA. dA means a very tiny little area, which is equal to the product of y times dx. If we now integrate that dA, that little strip, we add up all the little strips representing the entire area inside this rectangle right here. We call that A. So it's equal to the integral of that dA, which is y dx. And of course, since y is equal to the constant k, that's equal to the integral of k dx, which is the very same integral that we have over here. And of course, we then know that the result of that will be kx plus constant of integration. We always have that constant of integration. The reason why we add that is because if that was part of our original function to begin with, and then we take the derivative of that, the constant disappears. So it's something that we didn't know if we had or not, because that c can be any value. So when we take the derivative, it goes to zero. But when we integrate, should we get down that constant back? Since we don't know what it is, we just call it an added constant. But we can set that constant equal to zero. So that means that the integral for a, or the integral of dA, which is the area here, would simply be k times x. Now take a look here. K is the distance from there to there, and X is the distance from there to there. And notice how the product of those two do indeed represent that area. And you'll see that a lot of times when we take an integral, the integral of a function typically represents the area underneath that function, and that's another way to look at it. So that's how we think of the integral of a constant times dx is equal to Kx plus C. And that's how it's done.